Hongbi train sets. Trying Hongbi train sets. Trying Hongbi train sets. Trying Hongbi train sets. If you want a train set, Trying Hongbi make just the one you want. The great thing about Hornby Railways is that they grow on you. And the more they grow, the more fascinating the hobby becomes. Gradually, you can add track, growing stock, and accessories, signals, stations, special wagons, even the latest Freightliner equipment. Get him a Hornby set for Christmas, Dad. It could be the start of something big. You're looking at the latest great idea from Hornby. A complete train set for less than five pounds. It's a great way to start building a railway. Hello Hornby fans and welcome to this special range launch episode of Signalbox. 2020 is a huge year for us here at Hornby because it marks our centenary year. That's right, it's been 100 years since Frank Hornby made his first model locomotive. And in that time we've made thousands of locomotives from different eras and different regions, some great models and some not so great models. Many of you at home will have joined us on this journey of a lifetime. So we wanted to celebrate our centenary year with you at home. And it all starts today with our 2020 range launch, which includes a special Hornby 100 range, celebrating 100 years of Hornby. In this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at some of the stars of the range launch, and we're going to be talking to some of the team about their favorite picks. So without further ado, I'm Mike, we're Hornby, and welcome to Signalbox. By now you may have had a chance to look through our models on our website, fingers crossed, but you can also buy our catalogue which is the perfect way to commemorate this centenary year. It includes all the details of all the new models from this year with some added extras for you to enjoy. An essential tool when you do get your catalogue is one of these, a marker pen, so that you can circle exactly what you want and leave it conveniently lying around for your loved ones to see. Well, we've got lots to get through and lots to show off. so. We sat down with Mr. Hornby himself, Simon Kohler, to tell us about the Hornby 100 range. Really, we, we start um, with the 1920s. And we'll go through each decade up to where we are now, 2020. So, um, starting at uh, uh, 1920, we have uh, a replica, as far as we can get it to be a replica, of the first Hornby train locomotive. Obviously the first one was clockwork, uh, this is a, a three rail, um, tin plate, um, and we will introduce four liveries, there were four liveries in 1920, uh, and we'll replicate each, each one of those. Um, moving then really into the 30s when we had the introduction of um, Hornby Double O, uh, and their first train set, and this is a representation, a 21st century representation, of that first train set, which featured Sir Nigel Gresley and um, set, uh, two or three um, uh, Gresley coaches. Moving in really to the 1940s, uh, this, this model really, really has excited me. Uh, this is a Hornby Double the first Hornby Double for well over 50 years to be produced. Uh, it has a die cast body, just like the original uh, Duchess of Athol. Uh, with a pl plastic tender top. We're using 
the, the 21st century chassis uh, and the, the, the die cast uh, body will be really high fidelity. So really, really excited about that. Um, limited run, just 500 pieces. And then we move really into the 50s and not everything that Hornby did you know, ran on rails. They introduced uh, a, uh, a range of die cast vehicles under the um, uh, Dinky 00 brand. Uh, obviously we can't use the Dinky brand anymore, but we've replicated as close as we can with the packaging, etc. the 00 die cast range and picked out one or two vehicles that replicate what was there in 1950s, 1957 time. So while Hornby were developing and arguably struggling, um, the, um, the Trying Railway brand was getting stronger with lots of introductions in the 60s. That key introduction, um, in my opinion, was the rocket, Stevenson's rocket, and we replicated that. We've replicated the Trying Railway branding on it, and we have here the St. Henry logo, but it is a totally brand new rocket. Um, true scale on 76th, and those who have the older model, if they compare it to this, they will see that the older model is quite large. From the 60s we go to the 70s, Evening Star was a milestone model. Um, it was the last model that to Trying introduced uh, with the Trying Hornby branding. And as a celebration and part of that, uh, and it's quite coincidental, that the, um, the plate um, we have here uh, is a replica of the plate that's actually on the side of the real flying school, oh sorry, the real Evening Star which is stating that it was the last steam locomotive to come out of uh, Swindon in 1960. So here we are, 60 years on, celebrating with the evening star. Smokey Joe, a particular favourite of mine, and I know this has already been mentioned, but it's great to see it with all its metal parts back on and a lot of, a lot of livery changes, a lot of livery on it. Then, into the 90s, where we uh, obtained um, the tooling, <coughs> the old Airfix tooling, which we got via DAPL, um, and the star model in those years was the Terrier, introduced the Terrier at, so, to celebrate the 90s, and the, the lovely thing about this is that the Terrier has Merton on the side. Now there's a lovely link back to Merton, uh, where Trying Railways and, and um, the Lines Brothers had a factory there. So we, we have a nice, nice link. Down to now the 2000s and really the model that has it had been the genesis of all the other models we've produced ever since, the other steam locos and uh, other locos in general. Um, a high quality model from which all the others have spawn, spawned. And then, to round up, if you like, the, the, the decades, we have the Peckett. The Peckett has captured everybody's imagination. It's petite, it's a charming loco, it's collectible. And we're celebrating that with a maker's plate, which is included with the pack. However, really, couldn't let one anniversary disappear. And that is that in 1950, Rovex Industries introduced and made specially for Marks and Spencer the first Rovex train set. A year or two later the Rovex name was replaced by Trying Railways and really from there every set can trace its DNA back to this particular set. So in a nutshell you know I was asked which is my favourite I have to say Every one, to me, there's a special, special meaning. But if I was to be narrowed down, I couldn't just pick on one. I'd choose the tin plate, certainly the Hornby 00, and of course the rocket. The Hornby 100 range is a very special one, full of commemorative models from past decades. Brand manager Montana is a huge part of this year's celebrations and we got a chance to sit down and talk to her about what this year really means for her. 
Yeah, so it's been very difficult choosing. We've got a really extravagant range for 2020, including a whole host of centenary products. Um, but I have picked my favourite, and it is the Stevenson's Rocket. Um, so it's my favourite for two reasons. Um, one, it's a really attractive, lovely looking loco. I'm sure that everyone will agree. Um, but the main reason is because over the last five years at least, whenever we go to shows, we always get lots of product suggestions and the Stevenson's Rocket comes up all the time. So it's with great pleasure that we've got it as part of the range and it will hopefully make a nice addition to lots of customers' collections. The product is exactly the same. This one that you can see here is part of the Centenary collection, so it's limited edition. Um, this one that you can see here is part of the main range, so this one isn't limited. The packaging is different, but the products are exactly the same. This one looks slightly different just because this is the, the new tooling before it's got its livery put on it. So excited. We've been working on the 2020 plans for over a year now, um, it's finally all come together, it's all out in the open, so yeah, we're excited for the, the plans to come into action. It's a really big honour to be able to work for Hornby at this time in its in its journey, um, and long live Hornby and hopefully we'll, we'll see it get to 200 years. The Hornby 100 range is of course very important, but we can't forget about all the wonderful models that we have in our full range. Now, we can't go through each model because we'd be here for hours and really you don't want to see that much of me, but we thought we'd take the time to go through some of the highlights from this year's range. Jamie Gillum joined the Hornby team last year and many of you will have seen her at shows in 2019 and we're sure you'll see her smiling face in 2020. We got a chance to ask her what her favourite pick of this year's range is. Take it away Jamie. Well as you can see to my right, Smokey Joe. Um, my brother had this when we were younger and it's my favourite and it reminds me when we spent time with his train set and so it has lots of special memories for me. So that's why I've chosen this as my favourite. And I'm going to buy that for myself this year too. I like the original because it's so simple and I, I do love a steam loco, but I love all the new details that we've got on the new one. So I'm excited to own one myself. Oh, I'm so excited. And to be part of the, well, the biggest year, yeah, it's just, yeah, I, it means a lot to me. It really does. 
The centenary year is all about looking back at what's brought us to here, but it's also about looking forward to the next 100 years. Flying cars, men on Mars, and robot butlers could all be on the cards, and here at Hornby, we're working on ways to allow you at home to get more from your Hornby experience. Enter HM6000. Now don't worry, it's not a robot butler that's gonna take over the world, it's a new app from Hornby that will allow you to use your smart device when controlling your layout and locomotives. Control up to eight circuits, operate locomotives, points and accessories. The app features locomotive sounds including horns, whistles, steam sounds and more. Control is quite literally at your fingertips. The system is currently in development, but we'll be sure to give you more information as we hear it about HM6000. For now, you can find out more information in our catalogue and on our website. We're going to take a little breather now. It's always great to look at what we've got coming, but we can't forget how great our 2019 range was. And with that in mind, we've got a very special signal box competition for you. This month, you can win a limited edition Black 5 celebrating the one-to-one -one collection from this year's 2019 range. To get your hands on one, all you have to do is answer this simple question. When was the BR Class 5 MT 45379 completed? A, July 1947, B, July 1937, or C, July 1957? Head over to our website to enter. Entries will close at midnight on the 12th of February and we will announce the winner in our next Signal Box episode. Good luck. Throughout the year, Hornby attends several big events in the model railway calendar, and this year is no exception. This year, we will be celebrating our 100 years around the country with exclusive commemorative merchandise. So if you'd like to get your hands on these, make sure to come and say hi to the team at a show. If the models in the Hornby 100 range weren't enough for you, we also have a very special golden ticket competition. That's right, like Charlie and his chocolate factory, you could be winning a very special experience just by purchasing one of our Hornby 100 ranges. Each golden ticket will win you something different, from 100 pounds of Hornby vouchers to 500 pounds of Hornby vouchers. And one very special golden ticket will win you a trip on the Bellman Pullman for two. So let the golden ticket hunting commence, but don't dance around with Grandad if you do find a golden ticket, please. The 100 years of Hornby would be nothing without you and your passion, dedication and love for model railways. We wanted to celebrate you and your stories with a very special YouTube series called Hornby Memories. We'll be inviting a select few people to come down to Hornby HQ and tell us on camera your Hornby memory. It's about celebrating you and your stories. So keep your eyes peeled for Hornby Memories coming in the next few months. Well, that's it for this episode of Signal Box. Of course, there are so many more models that we could have talked about, but don't worry, we've got another 12 months to give you closer looks, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. We'd love to know what your favorite models from this 2020 range was, so let me know in the comments below. For more information on any of the models featured in today's show, head over to hornby.com. Stick around following this episode, as we'll be premiering a very special Hornby 100 film for you all. Thanks for watching as always, I'm Mike, you've been great and I'll see you at the next stop.